Hi, my name's Tony Shoebridge, General Manager for Training, and today I'm just going to give you a short overview of the functionality within the Distance Learning Portal. The key purpose of the portal is to provide students with the learning resources that will help them throughout their training, so it becomes an ongoing reference point. The first step is you'll receive an email from our student admin team that will give you the URL for the portal and will also provide you with your logon profile and password. So once you've activated the URL, it will take you to the sign-on screen. It's just a matter of capturing in your login name, password, and then hint entering. Now for first-time users, there'll be one step prior to seeing this screen, and that is where you'll be um, presented with the uh, e-learning student handbook. It's just simply a matter of going through, reading, acknowledging the content, and then once you hit on a yes button it will take you through to this screen. So we'll quickly work through the screen. Uh, most important one is obviously the courses that you're enrolled in. So if we click on the enrolled course, it will we'll quickly talk about the tabs. Course information, learning modules, assessments and the toolbox. Course information is really just an overview of the learning outcomes, people you can contact throughout the training for help etc your little icons down the side you're able to click on and they'll take you to either interactive modules or PDF documents. Learning modules this is where all your course content is that you can review and reference. In this example here procurement and contracting we have one section which is working in government which has a series of modules attached to it and then we get into the specialized streams and again all the modules. So if we have a quick look at one of the modules you can click on it will open up an interactive window which you can see is just starting up and then you can just work your way through and look at the content and likewise you could click on a PDF window as well. Assessments this is where all your assessment information is maintained uh, assessment workbooks, third party reports and assessment kits uh, no need to worry too much about this at this stage because as you progress through your training your trainer slash assessor will guide you through the requirements of your assessment how to complete the work activities etc. Toolbox this is where we really keep all the copies of the content in PDF format so it just becomes a reference point that you can actually go to open these up save them and then use them throughout the workshop. So that's pretty much an overview of the, the key areas of the, of the portal. Uh, the only other functions are just these ones down the side. My, my profile, it really just enables you can go and capture a picture, change your password, not much more to that really. View catalogue, this just gives you an overview of all the courses and qualifications that are offered by Transform. So it's more information if you want to go through and have a look at. Calendar. Calendar is very useful because as you start learning more about assessment due dates you can actually go in and create an event in your distance learning portal and that will remind you when an assessment is due or when you need to submit some work to your assessor. Certificates admin are not really applicable at this point in time. Logout button obviously you can click on that at any time to get back. If you want to go back a page you can use these features here. So that really covers it off today. Um, if you have any questions you can always contact our student admin on 1300 738 720. So hopefully that's a bit of a help in guiding you through and I wish you all the best with your learning. Thanks.